Hi guys, welcome back to another explainer video from Creative Tap. Now in this video we're going to look at Steve Neal's genre theory and how it can help us understand media products and also how it can help us make our own media products. So let's start off by establishing what genre actually means. So a genre is essentially a category that a media text falls into. So for example, you can have a horror film, a comedy film, a hip hop song, a gospel song, a health and beauty magazine, a sports magazine, etc. So different media products have different categories or genres which they can fall into. Okay, so now genres are always changing and they're always going through trends. So an example of this would be to look at horror films. Now back in the 1930s you had horror films which were based off literature such as Dracula and Frankenstein. Jump forward to the 1980s and we have a popular trend of slasher films such as The Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. If we take a big step forward, um, we've come to the 90s now, we had a big rise of psychological horrors, sort of stuff like The Blair Witch, stuff like that, and then more recently they tend to have more religious connotations to these psychological horrors, you know, all these kind of paranormal, kind of stuff like The Conjuring, all these possession kind of films, they tend to have a lot more of a religious connotation. Okay, so hopefully now we can kind of see that media products will fall into a specific genre and this genre obviously, like I said, evolves and changes. Um, looking at Steve Neal's theory, Steve Neal's theory states that genres are instances of repetition and differences. So what does this mean? Well, films that fall into the same genre are both the same in some respects and different in others. So I'm going to again break this down for you. How can they be the same and different? Well, let's use horror films again as an example. All horror films will have specific features that can be seen across all of the horror media products. These are known as conventions. So one common convention or feature used widely across horror-based media products is the use of dark colors, dark lighting, uh, and this is used to connote fear. Um, in the most fearsome part of the films, these dark colours and lighting will be used to portray this fear to the audience and the audience will relate to this. Another common convention of horror films is the use of the colour red to connote blood and danger as well. So these are common conventions across a genre being horror. Okay, so we've established how films can be similar to each other in a shared genre, and this is useful as an audience member will relate to these conventions, such as the dark colours and lighting, and they'll be able to establish the horror genre through that. So therefore, these conventions can be used as a plot device and a way to help the audience establish a genre. Okay, so films also need to be different from each other, otherwise you'd just be watching the same film over and over again, and that would drive you insane. So for this example, we will use sci-fi films. So think of Star Wars and Star Trek. They both share common conventions such as the setting, the in space and a spaceship. Um, however, they are still different. So they're still different because their story is different. The back, the sort of background story and their aims and goals in the film are different. Um, Star Wars again uses lightsabers, whereas Star Trek I think uses laser guns. I'm not a Star Trek fan. I've never seen it, but you know. Again, Star Wars is different, they use lightsabers. Um, let's compare this to another space-based sci-fi, which is Doctor Who. Again, the setting is shared, it's in space, in a spaceship. Um, but this is, Again, Doctor Who is different because it more heavily revolves around time travel, and the Doctor himself, the hero, doesn't actually use any weapons. Okay, So there's differences, but there's also similarities, and that's what the theory states. So... Using this theory in the instance of filmmaking helps us to know what conventions to use if we're building a product for a specific genre. The hard part is actually differentiating your, differentiating your product from other products to make your product more unique. And that's the really difficult part. You don't want it just to be another sci-fi or horror film. But a unique film idea will make you stand out from the crowd while still maintaining a specific genre. So hopefully you have a good understanding of Steve Neal's genre theory and how this can be applied to our own work. After this video, have a little think of different film genres such as action films, romance films, comedy thrillers and ask yourself what are the commonly shared conventions and what are the, some differences in some of the films of the same genre. Okay, so challenge yourself with that. Anyway, cheers for tuning in. If this video helped, give us a like and a subscribe and check out some of our other videos for some more useful resources.